Today I'll talk about model selection. This lecture is part of my series of lecture on machine learning. So model selection is the selection process of one machine learning model from among a group of candidate machine learning models for a particular trading data set. It is different from model evaluation and it is also different from algorithm selection. So model selection is a process that can be applied both across different type of model models. Example, linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machine, K nearest neighbor, or across models of same type, but configured with different model hyperparameters. For example, different number of neighbors in K nearest neighbor or different kernels in support vector machine. There are two types of model selection methods. One is resampling method, and the other is probabilistic methods. In resampling method, data is divided into train, validation, test data set, or we use cross validation techniques by K fold or variations of K fold. The resampling methods are considered, uh, they consider out of sample error because the error is calculated from the Left out, left out data set or the test data set, which is left out. Probabilistic methods include AIC, BIC, MDL, SRM. I'll talk about these a little later. And these probabilistic methods consider in sample error because they calculate, uh, they do the calculations on the basis of training set itself. So let us first consider resampling methods. First one is random split, or this is also known as hold out method. One is train test split. Here data is divided into training, test, and preferably into validation subsets randomly. The other is time-based split. This is used in modeling the time series data because time series data is an ordered data and it cannot be randomly split. So we split the data on the basis of time parameter. Then is k-fold cross-validation. In k-fold cross-validation, data is divided into k groups after shuffling the data set. Its variation is stratified k-fold cross-validation. Here data is first stratified, taking into consideration the outcome or dependent variable. This is important when we have an imbalanced data set. Rest is similar to k-fold cross-validation. Then is leave one out cross validation. It is the most extreme form of k fold method where k is equal to n or the number of data points. Here, model is trained with all data points except one. And this is computationally expensive because we need to calculate or run it n times. Leave p group out. This is useful when more than one data point belongs to a particular group or a particular entity or a particular individual. Here data is divided into groups and these groups are taken into consideration while splitting the data for cross validation. Bootstrap. In this resampling method, a bootstrap sample is created by sampling data from original data set, but with replacement. Note that a bootstrap sample may contain multiple instances of same data points or there is duplicacy. Then uh, we come to probabilistic methods. These include AIC, BIC, MDL, SRM. AIC is for Akaki information criteria. BIC is for Bayesian information criteria. MDL stands for minimal minimum description length and SRM stands for structural risk minimization. They incorporate performance measure as well as complexity of the model. They take into account data from training set only. As I told you, they consider in sample error. First one is Akaki information criteria. Uh, Akaki, a statistician used the KL information and maximum likelihood to develop the concept of Akaki information criteria. This is the formula that is minus two log likelihood plus two K. K is the number of parameters in the model and uh, divided by the sample size. The value of AIC by itself does not carry any meaning. However, AIC is very useful to compare two models. Goal is to select a model with lower AIC. 
then based in information criteria unlike aic the bic penalizes the number of parameters more strongly because the number of parameters are multiplied by log of number of samples it can be said that aic being more liberal may prefer more complex models as compared to simpler and true models selected by using bic the tolerance of bic depend on sample size as we can see here in the formula aic might overfit whereas bic may underfit some authors say that aic is better for prediction as it is asymptotically equivalent to cross validation whereas bic is good for explanation then minimum description length it is based on the principle that shortest description of the data is the best model mdl is derived from information theory dealing with the number of bits required to represent an event or a model although mathematically demanding mdl overcomes the limitation of aic and bic this is the formula for minimum description length then comes structural risk minimization it is based on principle that a problem should be addressed by balancing the model's complexity by this term against its success in at fitting the training data this is the error term so it it incorporated both error term as well as penalty for the complexity of the model so this is all for today thank you very much